Hi, this is Ryan Brown for mockquestions.com. In this video, we'll discuss five Morningstar interview questions from our website. We'll go over each question and some advice on how to answer them, along with an answer example. Afterwards, if you found this video helpful, please like and share. That would mean a lot to us. One last thing before we begin, just a quick disclaimer. We are not affiliated with Morningstar, and these are not official interview questions for Morningstar. Okay, let's get started. Question number one. Talk to me about a challenging situation you had to handle on the job that involved another colleague. How did you handle that situation? At the heart of this question, your interviewer is looking to hear how you use solid interpersonal and relationship building skills to diffuse a difficult situation with a coworker. No matter what example you use, make sure to keep the tone positive. Focusing on the steps you took to turn a potentially hazardous situation into a good or at least manageable one. Remember, this question is not an opportunity to badmouth a previous colleague or boss. Most importantly, discuss the specific lessons learned from that situation that you will take into a new role. Here is our answer example. A few years back, we hired a junior advisor on our team, and I was tasked with being his mentor. Having mentored several other thriving junior advisors before he started, I was excited about this opportunity. Within the first week of him being on the job, I overheard a colleague talking openly about his disdain for the new hire of this advisor. I decided to speak to my colleague in a private office about my concern over his words towards the new advisor. Having been part of the interview process and his early mentorship, I knew he had the skills to succeed, and I reiterated that to my colleague. After agreeing to back off his critique of the new advisor, I learned that direct conversations are the best way to handle workplace conflicts. The junior advisor went on to be successful at the firm. Question number two, tell me about a time when you or a group that you were a part of were in danger of missing a deadline. What did you do? When answering this question, point to a specific situation that allows you to emphasize the problem solving process you took, but don't get bogged down in irrelevant details. The interviewer won't care about the minutia of a previous project gone wrong, but they will want to hear about the process you went through to ultimately make that deadline. In my current position with company XYZ, there was a situation a few months ago where my workload reached an unrealistic amount. I was responsible for too many tasks, and as a result, I was falling behind in hitting the deadlines for my primary project. To address this, I gauged the current bandwidth of our support staff to see how feasible it would be to offload some necessary but time-consuming tasks. I ended up setting up meetings with two interns and a contractor to train them on these lower priority tasks that were eating up my time. This strategy allowed me to focus more time and energy to hit important milestones on my primary project. Question number three. This position at Morningstar has generated a lot of interest from applicants. What do you feel is the one quality that sets you apart from others we are speaking with about this position? This question is a perfect opportunity for you to highlight the one key quality that makes you the best person for this job. So be sure to really think about what this one quality is ahead of your interview. While there are many paths you can take with this question, be sure to avoid making assumptions about the other candidates in your answer. Remember that many candidates are hardworking, motivated, and accomplished. Really reflect on what is unique about your story or career trajectory to help you succeed in this role. As I've talked about during this interview process and from what you can see on my resume, I have all of the technical skills needed to grow your financial advising practice here at Morningstar. What sets me apart from others is the intense drive I have to succeed in this industry. Growing up, I've always been a very competitive person. For example, I played Division I soccer in college and was a team captain during my junior and senior years. In addition, I graduated in the top 5% of my class. My drive to succeed academically and in sports has definitely carried over to and been a huge benefit in my work as a financial advisor. I'd love to bring this competitive spirit to your team. Question number four. Have you ever went the extra mile for a client when it wasn't expected? Why did you do so? Morningstar looks to set themselves apart from other competition by delivering top-notch service. 
if being interviewed for the popular Morningstar development program, you'll be beginning your career at Morningstar as a customer service representative. Thus, a solid understanding of the gold standards of customer service is paramount. If your experience in customer service is limited, spend some time researching the most important roles of customer service within the financial services industry. No matter what example you use, explain why you felt it was important to take that action and what tangible outcomes it produced. Remember, show, don't tell. Use a specific example if you have one. A couple of years ago, when I was working customer service in retail, a customer was looking for what happened to be a discontinued item of clothing for her sick mother. The easy route would have been simply looking it up, telling her it was discontinued and having her be on her way. I took down the customer's contact information and let her know that I would contact one person who handled archived products. If we could track it down, I would be in touch. With a simple phone call, my colleague could track the item down from the supplier and have it coordinated to ship directly. We put the customer in direct contact with the supplier and she was ecstatic. Looking back on the situation, I felt that it was the right thing to do given the situation that the customer was in and knowing she was a loyal customer of ours. Question number five. In working with financial data here at Morningstar, what are the steps you would take in the data validation process as part of your work? High quality and accessible data is at the center of Morningstar's mission statement. Carefully interpreting financial data and ensuring its validity will be at the heart of what you do at Morningstar, and especially if you are a financial analyst. This is a good question to demonstrate to your interviewer that you are knowledgeable about Morningstar's mission of transparency in providing high quality data. Here at Morningstar, your financial advisors rely on the most accurate and up-to-date data to present to clients. I would take great pride in my job as a data analyst to provide the best data possible. In fact, the pride I take in interpreting complicated data initially attracted me to Morningstar as a company. You set the industry standard within financial services for providing top-notch data that investors and advisors rely on in making decisions. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, it'd be greatly appreciated if you could subscribe to our channel. It really does help motivate us to continue creating videos. Thanks again, and we hope you stick around to watch more interview practice videos from Mock Questions.